Hi, welcome to yet another video. And in this video, I uh, discuss a question in uh, electrical engineering uh, certificate uh, paper October November 2021. Yeah, that is it. And it will be question two. We skip part A because part A is doing graphs. And we do B at part of C because. One part of B, we have already done it. So, certificate in electrical. Uh, craft certificate. In electrical. Which is uh, year 2021, October, November. The reason why I'm, I'm mixing the questions like that, at least I want you to see the questions are the same across all engineering courses and across all levels. The questions are almost the same. You see the question repeated. In fact, it's good when you are revising, you mix up paper. Sometimes it could be racket to find a question the way it is from another engineering course added percent. The question is to be uh, two acute argos. Two acute angles A and B are such that uh, they are such that tan A is equal to V over four. At cos b is equal to 8 over 17. Determine from a non say a minus b and from a two cos a minus b. Now what you are going to do, you are told these two are acute angles, meaning they are less than 90 degrees. So if you draw the right angle triangle here, you have an acute angle of uh, 3 over 4. So you know tan is equal to opposite tan of theta over and adjacent. So we consider this is our angle theta, the opposite side. Uh, this is equal to V over 4. The opposite side is 3. The adjacent side is 4. Meaning using Pythagoras theorem, the hypotenuse is 5. Uh, we also told, so in this case, if you are to get cos A for this particular triangle, it will be, what is cosine? Cosine is um, Adjacent of a hypotenuse, which will be adjacent, will be adjacent is four, hypotenuse is five. Sine of the angle, mm, so we are using a not theta. Let me work with angle a. Angle a here, so I also change this to a. Um, also this here to a. Sine a will be the opposite side of hypotenuse I were sine is opposite which is of hypotenuse which is um, opposite is 3 hypotenuse is 5 for the other triangle we are told over the other angle keep angle angle B we are told its cosine is 8 over 17. So you know cos of an angle B is equal to adjacent over hypotenuse which is equal to 8 all over 17 it means the adjacent side is 8 hypotenuse is 17 from which you see by the graph there we can get the opposite side let me take my calculator it will be 17 squared Minus 8 squared 
2.5 high diameter of that is 15 and this is 15 from this the sine of B we know sine is opposite the opposite is 5 not 15 over hypotenuse which is um, 17 I think that's what we need uh, so that now we can say Sine A minus B using your S and B table, please. Sine A cos B minus, not minus but plus, cos A sine B, which is what is sine of A? B over 5 times cos B, cos B is. 8 over 17 plus cos A 4 over 5 times sin B 15 over 17 uh, this is 24 17 times 5 is equal to 5 Plus this is sixty or over <coughs> eighty five, which is equal to eighty four over eighty five. The other one is cos a minus b. You know cos a minus b is cos a. Cos b minus sin a sin b, which will be equal to cos a is uh, cosine of a is what? 4 over 5 sine of b no cosine of b uh, is 8 over 17 minus sine of a oh, by the way this, if this is positive this is if this is negative this is positive here if this is negative you check from the SMP table um, but if this is negative this is positive if this is positive this is negative which is so sin a is 3 over 5 times sin b 15 over 17 which is equal to 4 times 8 that is 32 over 7 over 85 plus this is 45 over 85 32 as 45 7 7 7 over 85 so that is it that's how we go about that one the next question there are two questions and I only do one because you have done another similar one. We have to see solve the equations. Solve the equations. Number one. Nine minus five sine theta. Plus or minus twelve cos square theta is equal to zero. Then you have <coughs> number two four sin two theta four sin two theta minus three cosine of theta is equal to zero. Uh, for the values of data uh, between zero degrees and three hundred and sixty degrees. So that is it. This you have done a similar question similar to this one. You have not 
for the video other videos in this topic uh, trigonometry check some of the videos in the link shown here or in the video description here you can also find uh, the method through which you can donate the channel if you'd like to donate to the channel uh, that is using mpesa tier and also using paper to find the link down there uh, you'll also find the email through which you can reach me uh, in case you want me to take through a certain topic uh, i can take you through a topic as a group or as an individual depending on what you want now we will leave this those you have done some this email and only work on that we have four sine two theta minus three cos theta is equal to zero from which we know that sine two theta is equal to two sine theta cos theta from the S and P table so we have four times two um sine theta cos theta minus three cos theta is equal to zero h sine theta cos theta minus three cos theta is equal to zero factor out cos theta cos theta with bracket eight sine theta I will factor out eight sine theta minus three is equal to zero so if you are not trying to Values this and this or two terms this and this and they equal to zero either one of them could be equal to zero At the beginning let us assume cos theta is equal to zero Divide the cos in cos inverse theta in this case uh, How to be the cos inverse of zero? Argos that can give us the value of theta is equal to zero r pi over two and uh, three pi over two Then the other term, this one, 8 sine theta uh, minus 3 is equal to 0. 8 sine theta is equal to 3. Sine theta is equal to 3 over 8. So it's uh, 3 over 8 is equal to 3 divided by 8 is equal to sine theta is equal to 0 0.375 find price sine inverse on both sides so say sine inverse sine theta is equal to sine inverse of 0 0.375 so theta sine inverse sine theta will give us theta is equal to uh, sine inverse of that In two point point zero two degrees, but we know uh, sine is positive. All the three trigonometric functions are positive in the first quadrant, including sine, and also sine is positive in the second quadrant. In the third quadrant and fourth quadrant, sine is negative. So you are interested in angles uh, in first and second. Quadrant. The angle in the first quadrant is this one, 22.02 degrees, and the angle in the second quadrant, theta, is equal to 180 degrees minus 22.02 degrees. So we have 180 minus answer is equal to 157. Point nine eight degrees so we have three four answers so in this case beta is equal to uh, we can start with the smallest which is 22 point zero two degrees then uh, beta is pi over 2 is the same as uh, 90 degrees and 3 pi over 2 is somewhat this 270 degrees 
But before 270, let's say 257.98 degrees and uh, 270 degrees. That's why you are supposed to get all the angles between 0 and 360 degrees. So in this case, uh, all these angles will satisfy the second equation here. Uh, so that is it. Uh, remember to reach me through the email if you do want me to take you through a, a certain topic, whether in mechanical, electrical, civil, any of the mathematic topics in those three, three areas. I'll be very comfortable taking you through. You can also share the videos with other engineering students. Leave your question as a comment in the channel. Uh, and also do not forget to like the video. So that is it. We we attempt another topic that is also common to the three uh, engineering courses that is mechanical, electrical and civil or building uh, so that we can uh, cut across our uh, engineering courses but for the other topics that are not common to our other areas uh, probably it might take a bit of time because uh, creating videos is quite time, time intensive it involves a lot of research and also time to create and edit the videos so that is it. Have a good day, good evening or good night wherever you are.